Good day, my friends. We're going to start something new today, which means we're going to start off with a little bit of conversation about our elements of art and, in a moment, our principles of design. So please repeat these seven elements of art after me. Line, shape, color, texture, form, space, value. So we're going to start off our drawing with some lines. We're going to use those lines to create shape. We're going to use, when we have all of our lines and all of our shapes made, we're going to get into some color. We're going to use that color to help fill all of our space on the page so that we make sure we don't leave anything uncolored or unfinished. That being said, let's move on to our principles of design. Again, please repeat these seven words after me. Balance, unity, pattern, rhythm, movement, emphasis, contrast. So in our drawing today, we'll start off talking about our emphasis, our main thing in the picture. Now, in the book that we listened to, the, the piece of nonfiction that we listened to earlier, it was about turtles. So our emphasis today is going to be a turtle. We're all going to be turtly enough for the turtle club today, I tell you. Uh, we also are going to create some pattern on the shell of our tur turtle some shapes and colors that repeat themselves over and over and over and over and over again. And because we're going to make a sea turtle, we're going to create, we're going to talk a little bit about movement, about using lines to create movement in our drawings. Because sea turtles live in the ocean and in the ocean we have water and the water in the ocean is always moving. So that being said, let's jump over to a blank piece of paper. So as with any drawing that we create together, the first thing that we need to decide is how we're going to orient our paper. So if our paper is like this in front of me, we say that our paper is in landscape. If we turn it like this, we say that our paper is in portrait. For today's drawing, I think portrait might be the best way to go. So I'm going to leave my paper like this. So make sure your paper is turned like my paper. And we're going to start off with our emphasis, with some lines and some shapes to create our emphasis. Now, question. What shape do you think would be the best for drawing the shell of our turtle? Oh my goodness, did y'all just say oval? Oh, that's such a good idea. That's such a good shape for a turtle shell. Let's make an oval. Now, when we make our oval, remember, this is our emphasis. So we want it to be big on our paper. We don't want little tiny baby turtles. We want full-grown mama turtle. So let's make an oval. Nice and big on the page. Now, inside this oval, we're going to make another oval. Just one that's a little bit smaller. So we just want to kind of follow right around like that. Because turtle, a lot of times turtles will have kind of a rim on the edge of a, on the edge of their shell. Now inside here, for this this part, we're going to use some lines. Now I'm going to use a straight line, but you can use a curved line if you want to. And we're going to set up this pattern for our turtle's shell. So what we want to do is we want to bring lines straight across making sure that we touch both sides of the shell. So am I touching, is that, is that last line correct? No, it's not. I gotta make sure I go all the way across. All the way across. And then we're gonna come down and we're gonna put maybe two or three lines straight up and down. This creates a bit of a checkerboard pattern for us to work with when we start in on our color. So on the rim of our shell, we also wanna create some stripes. So again, I'm going to use a straight line. You could use a curved line. You could use any kind of line you want. It's your turtle. But when we add these lines, again, we want to make sure we go all the way across that ring. And we want to make sure that we're not putting them super, super close together. 
We want to spread them out a little bit. We don't need those right in on top of each other. Now, sea turtles don't have feet like tortoises or like land turtles, like box turtles do. They have flippers. So when we draw our flippers, we're going to use a shape kind of like a sock. So we start at our shell. We come over, down, and we curve, and we come back to the body. Okay, I'll show you again. We come out, we curve, we come back to the body. Come out, we curve, we come back to the body. And one more because I have four of them. So we come out, curve, round, back to the body. Now, sea turtles also have a tail. So what shape do you think would be good for their tail? Did you, say, did you say triangle? Ah, you guys are killing it today. Yes, a triangle is a perfect shape for a tail. So let's come down here to the bottom and give our sea turtle a little tail. And then the last thing we need to add to our turtle is his head. So the head, again, what do you think? Now here's circle. Yeah, here's circle, yeah. Oval, yeah, that's good too. Either one of those will work. I think I'm going to use something a little bit closer to an oval. So we want to come give him a little bit of a neck and then a head. We can put some eyes on him if we want to. Maybe he got some nose, a little bit of a beak for because he's a turtle. They have a little bit of a beak. And that's our, that's our turtle. So the next thing we want to talk about, we'll have to deal with creating our all right, so with our head and fins and tail colored, it's time to move in to some pattern. So we're gonna make two different patterns here. We're gonna make one pattern around the edge of the shell. We're gonna make another pattern inside the shell. So on the pattern on the outside of the shell, we're gonna do a little bit differently than the ones we've done in the past. And what's gonna be different is instead of us making an A, pattern, we're going to make an A, B, C pattern. So we're going to pick three colors. So I'm going to pick purple and blue and green. And I'm going to repeat these colors to create a pattern around this part of my turtle. And done my ABC pattern. We're gonna move into the inside of the shell to create an uh, an AB pattern, like what we've been doing. So here, inside the shell, we want to pick two colors. I'm gonna pick brown and orange. Again, you can pick any two colors you want. But what I want to show you here is how to color this pattern so that it will look like a checkerboard. Because there's a trick to doing that. So what we do when we do that is instead of coloring straight across with our pattern, we color corner to corner. So if I do this one brown, then I would do this one brown because it touches on the corner. And I, then I would do this one brown because it touches on the corner. And I'm not saying that you have to do yours this way. You do not. I'm showing you this so that if you would like to try this, try something a little bit different or maybe a little bit more challenging, you have the opportunity. You have the chance, you have the tools, and you have the know-how. This one, because it touches on the corner. And then everything that's left over after I'm done going through this would be my other color. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. Totally finished. So here we have our turtle's shell totally finished. So the next step 
is to deal with our background, all this empty white space that we have. Now, as mentioned earlier, we're gonna create some movement here, but to do that, there are a couple of steps. So the first step is gonna be to color all of our water. Now, I'm gonna make my water blue, but if you wanted to make your water a different color, I am totally okay with that. But when we use this, we wanna make sure that we color really, really gently and make our color nice and light so that it looks like this. So here we have my background colored all the way, and it's so light that you might not even be able to see it, so I'm moving a little bit closer to the camera. But when we have our, our color and we control this light and stars, we call that value. So we needed the background, our water, to be a very, very light value so that we can take the same color and use it to create some movement on our page because turtles, Sea tur where do sea turtles live? They live in the what? That's right, they live in the ocean. And in the ocean, that water, even though it might look still on top, the water in the ocean is constantly moving. It's constantly flowing and following these currents that go all the way around the world. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some curvy lines and some wiggly lines and some spirals to create some movement in our ocean. Now when we do this, we wanna make sure that everything is moving from the front of our turtle towards the back of our turtle. Kinda of like this. Here I have all of my lines used to create my movement and see can you see how just by adding these lines of the same color but a darker value, we go from a background that is very kind of plain and maybe even a little bit boring, I hate to say it, but a little bit boring to look at, and we create all this wonderful movement, all these, all these little paths that our eyes can follow as, as we go from the front of the turtle towards the back of the turtle. And notice also that I even let some of my lines for my movement overlap my turtle so that I get the feeling that there is water going above my turtle and under my turtle and around my turtle as it swims and powers its way through the great wide ocean. So we've got our movement, we've got our patterns, we've got our emphasis, the turtle really big in the middle. We've used all of the space on our page and this, my friends, this is a finished drawing. Can't wait to see y'all next time. As always, my friends, happy arting.